So definitely I like giving people um, something to connect with from their own past. And I think also when you make something into art, it automatically sort of elevates it to a more important status. Whereas you might have thought that, you know, your grandfather's old camera was just junk in the basement. When you see it, you know, blown up and on a gallery wall, suddenly your, um, your memories associated with that, that object and that person and those experiences become, um, they carry more weight. They become more important and you can kind of realize like, oh yeah, my, you know, my sort of insignificant life experiences actually are important and significant. My name is Tara Barr. I was born in Alexandria, Virginia, so just outside of Washington, D.C. I have lots of artists as role models. My grandmother is an artist. When I was little and she had an art studio in the basement with all of her supplies and she always had um, a painting or something. So I remember spending you know, hours and hours um, in her art studio just playing around with colored pencils or pastels or you know, whatever materials she had given me. The idea of being an artist has never been um, like surprising, I don't think, to anybody in our family. But I got out of college right when the economy was sort of um, tanking in 2007. So ended up just taking kind of any job I could get. I quit when I was about to have my first child. But when that happened, I thought as a stay-at-home mom, I might have more time to um, make art. <laughs> but that was definitely not the case. So I went back to work full time. I had the two little kids at home. I just started sort of feeling like art was really missing from my life. Um, so I started painting early in the mornings, on the weekends, while everyone was still asleep. In early 2019, I had the idea that I could apply to become a torpedo factory artist, and that's changed things a lot for me. obstacle I think was finding my personal style as an artist. I guess it's considered pop art in general but specifically as it relates to technology. I guess sort of as a celebration of human ingenuity and invention and the things that we've been able to come up with. You know things like landscapes and flowers can be very beautiful but I, I personally think that things that people have created are very beautiful too. I guess I relate most so far to the typewriters because even though my work's not, it's not about gender, I do think about gender when I choose what I'm gonna paint. Just knowing that some objects are inherently more masculine or more feminine. So, you know, painting a motorcycle is gonna be different from painting a sewing machine. But I like the typewriters because they tend to be more gender neutral. You know, women have used them, men have used them. It's something that you don't really think like, okay, this is, this is a painting for a woman's house or this is a painting for a man's house. Once I had painted a few of them, I, I then started kind of thinking about careers that my grandmothers had had as secretaries and how in the workplace, almost always the women who are handling whatever new technology is you know, coming onto the scene. When I started working, I was not working in technology. I was just doing education program management and then ended up becoming really involved with database. Even the networking groups that I was part of that w weren't just women, you know, that were both genders, ended up being mostly women anyway. You know, a lot of the conversation in those rooms was sort of just about how it does always tend to be the women who adopt new technology quicker. In my personal experience, I found that most of the artists that I come in contact with are women. I think that it's because even though women are not um, reaching the higher levels as much, there are still just as many women as men, if not more, making art and building their own communities and creating their own opportunities to show their work. Um, for me, as I've gotten older, I've gotten more confident and, and less concerned with um, what other people think. 
how a woman should look or act or dress or be or what type of artwork a woman makes. I think my, my work is a reflection of sort of just how I am as a woman, not necessarily um, glittery or soft, <laughs> you know, but I think it's a reflection of um, 